Hey, brother. I might need some help. So, Jay, needless to say, we have been in a very Pixar mood lately. And if you remember from my video from last week, I based almost the entire premise for my theory that Ellie and Andy's mom, possibly Emily, could be sisters and or related in some way, mostly based on a certain postcard that we find in Andy's room. So today I'm watching Up because it's Thursday. And Jay, I will say that a lot of times when you're watching these movies, you don't even know what is actually relevant because the theory hasn't come around yet, so you don't even know what could be important later. But I'm watching Up, and lo and behold, there's what appears to be the exact postcard from Andy's room on Ellie and Carl's mirror. So, I will admit that one of the major flaws in my theory from last week is that the postcard in Andy's room was not actually from Carl and Ellie, but to Carl and Ellie. What? It could be possible that Pixar included this little token just for fun. It could not mean anything. <laughs> or it could mean something. One of the things from last week's theory that some people kind of poked holes in was the alliteration factor. The fact that Ellie and Emily kind of have that same sound to it. Well, get this. In watching Up, we can see the other half of the postcard. And who is that postcard from but Emma Jean? Emily, Emma, Ellie. I stand by it. And maybe, maybe, we might need to see a later Pixar movie to determine who the third sister could be if we're still going to go with that theory, but in Up we do see that there are two people in that altar scene that could be sisters. But more importantly, where I need help. And I need a lot of it. I need theories to explain the following questions. Number one. Why does Andy have a letter to Carl and Ellie in his room? A postcard is hardly something that would be a hand-me-down or like a family souvenir or heirloom or anything of any real significance other than the person it was sent from to the person it was sent to, which according to this, Andy and potentially Emily would be removed from that situation. The second thing that I can't seem to figure out and is driving me crazy is the zip code on the two postcards is the only thing that seems to be different. Otherwise, we have the exact same address just with a different zip code. Then there is the third thing that doesn't make sense about all of this, and that is Ellie's handwriting in her note to Carl at the end of her adventure book is the almost exact same as that on the postcard. So Ellie and Ellie look identically written. Now that could just be some type of like inner sibling type thing going on there, very similar handwriting, but that seems like a stretch to me. And of course the fourth thing that we have absolutely nothing currently to connect to is who is Emma Jean? Now, of course, with much of these Pixar theories, we require multiple films in order to piece the whole puzzle together. So it is so possible that we just don't have the missing piece that might explain who she might be yet. Now, the last thing that I want to leave you with is the address from the postcard. I typed it into Google, and where it brings you to is this cave in Greece. Now, the one fun fact that this cave is specifically known for is it has had nearly constant human settlement since 38,000 BCE, so we're going like cave people back. That being said, that cave could be the setting of The Good Dinosaur, which is one of the Pixar movies that is currently in the works to be released and features a small cave boy and dinosaur. So here's my challenge of the day. If anybody can take this information and put together a reasonable theory to explain any of it, whether it's the postcard or who Emma might be, and leave it in the towel section down below. If there is a good sound theory, I will make that for my next video. But Jay, that is all that I've got for you today, man. I will see you on Tuesday.